The logic of an infinite, quantum, and universal cosmic consciousness generated by a static, electromagnetic, and living universe of light within a limitless, dark, and eternal plasma. If, in fact, as suspected by Edwin Hubble, allowed by Albert Einstein's equations of general relativity, and now increasingly confirmed by startling telescopic observations, the universe is not expanding, it may be composed of an infinite number of electromagnetic mother galaxies of varying ages living in the dark plasma. We, as individually unique beings of mind, exist to the extent we can comprehend the scientific reality of an abiding, patiently observing, and non-judgmental universal consciousness without reference to time, religion, philosophy, or metaphysics. We are mind-kind on Earth. Just witness the magnificent things we have created by working together. The primary evidence for the Big Bang cosmological model is cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of galactic light waves. The static of CMB radiation. The radio observation of cosmic microwave background radiation was first believed to be the uniform glow or echo of the Big Bang. The COBE satellite measured the diffuse infrared and microwave radiation surrounding Earth in every direction. The cold spot anomaly discovered by the W map disproves uniformity of CMB. Revealed Hawkins radiation anomalies also disprove uniformity of the CMB radiation. Related to the CMB, the cosmological principle holds that at large scales, the universe is smooth and uniform in every direction. This principle is being disproven by the most recent observations that reveal increasingly large structures the farther we look into the universe. Stretching 3.3 billion light years across the sky, the giant arc consist of innumerable galaxies in their clusters. Under the Big Bang cosmological principle, the structure should not even exist, as it might take a trillion years to gravitationally form. Does the Big Bang expansion cause the redshift of galactic light waves? The redshift of distant light waves is the foundation of Big Bang cosmology. The black intergalactic space between the galaxies of light is not empty. A basic plasma consists of one electrically neutral hydrogen atom in every cubic meter and within every three cubic meters of space, a single positive naked proton and one negative free electron magnetically vibrate in place. Growing from one plus two equals three, three hydrogen atoms, one electron, and one proton naturally organize within the plasma. They multiply, three times three equals nine, into a basic neutral electromagnetic mathematical matrix of three cubed equals 27, with each matrix containing 27 neutral hydrogen atoms nine vibrating positive protons, and nine vibrating negative electrons. The mathematical matrices of the elemental electrically neutral and conducting ionized gas plasma faithfully transmit light waves from source to destination as each photon-electron interaction releases a tiny bit of energy into the intergalactic space. Redshift 
is believed to result from the Doppler effect of receding light sources. Recessional velocity redshift occurs when the object is moving away, the wavelength stretches. Dark energy is also believed to cause cosmological redshift. Edwin Hubble, who discovered redshift, did not believe in the Big Bang. New tarred light alternatives to Big Bang expanding redshift. Moving photons are absorbed and readmitted by electrons in the plasma. Each photon-electron interaction reduces the light wave's frequency and increases its length. Tired light may also account for the cosmic microwave background radiation. Every time a photon interacts with an electron, it loses energy into the intergalactic medium plasma and may contribute to the cosmic microwave background. If the CMB and the redshift of galactic light waves are due to tired light, photon-electron interaction in the intergalactic medium plasma, the universe of light is static. It is not expanding, and most likely there are an infinite number of mother galaxies far beyond our ability to ever observe. The black holes allegedly consuming stars at the core of galaxies and quasars are actually electromagnetic plasmoids generating star-making electrical filaments and massive jets of enormous energy. A plasmoid is a coherent structure of plasma and magnetic fields that form at a z-pinch. The radio telescope image of the jet emitted by the Virgo A galaxy. The lovely jets of the Fornax radio galaxy. Jets emitted by the Hercules A galaxy. Jets of a radio galaxy with multiple lobes. Gamma ray, narrow line jets from the highest redshift blazar galaxy. A radio telescope image of galaxy M87 reveals the corkscrew-like helical structure of its jet A radio image of M87 is reported as a black hole, but in fact, AI enhancement reveals a massive plasmoid at the galaxy center. An image of the Centaurus A galaxy by the Event Horizon Radio Telescope. the Chandra X-ray Space Telescope image of the Cygnus A galaxy. The jets of galaxy CGCG049933 are more than one million light years long. X-ray and radio imaging of Messier 84 galaxy. Radio and X-ray images of Sagittarius A star, the Milky Way's alleged black hole, reveal a massive outflow, claimed to be a magnetically columnated jet of matter and or hot clumps of ionized gas, supposedly produced in the disk of matter circling the black hole. Quasars 
quasars associated with galaxies often outshine the entire galaxy, and they also produce jets. The jet of quasar 3C273 is observed in the optical, x-ray, and radio spectra. The outflow of quasar SDSS, etc., allegedly from a massive black hole 1,000 times greater than the one believed to be at the core of the Milky Way. The brilliant luminosity of a very early massive quasar is attributed to a gigantic black hole spanning a diameter of seven light years. Galaxies and their associated quasars. Discordant redshifts of a galaxy and quasar connected by a luminous bridge show the galaxy at 107 million light years from Earth and the quasar at 1.2 billion light years. Galaxies and their associated quasars can have discordant redshifts. If the universe is not expanding, the difference in the redshifts of galaxies and associated quasars becomes linear as a measure of actual distance rather than exponential as connected to the increasing entropy of an expanding universe. The electromagnetic jets of galaxies and quasars and their discordant redshifts disprove both black holes at the center of galaxies and the Big Bang. The standard Lambda CDM model of the universe requires imaginary cold dark matter to hold it together and imaginary dark energy to expand it beyond the speed of light. Allegedly, observable matter is only 4.9% of the entire universe. Imaginary dark matter and energy are like the cycles and epicycles of the Earth-centered Ptolemaic model of the Dark Ages, which were imagined to account for the observed movement of other planets. Under the standard model, galaxies rotate so fast that the gravity of their observed mass could not possibly hold them together. There is a difference between the calculated and observed rotational velocities of galaxies. An epicycle of invisible dark matter was imagined to hold galaxies together. Radio images attributed to dark matter joining two galaxies may in fact represent evidence of electromagnetic processes in connecting filaments surrounded by molecular gas. <clears throat> the redshift of the most distant galactic light requires a recessional velocity in excess of the speed of light. The epicycle of dark energy was invented to explain the exponential recession of distant galaxies. While the Big Bang theory of an expanding gravitational universe requires the redshift of light from the most distant galaxies to become exponential, a static universe allows the redshifts to remain linear as a measure of actual distance, eliminating the need for dark energy to balance the equations. Improved observations are falsifying the Big Bang theory of cosmology.
The Webb Space Telescope, with a 21.7-foot mirror, was placed at a stationary Lagrange point one million miles from Earth in December 2021. Imaging in the infrared, it can see farther than 13 billion light years. A split-screen image of the Phantom Galaxy demonstrates the improvement between the Webb Space Telescope imaging infrared light and the Hubble Space Telescope imaging of visible light. Launched in 1999, the Chandra X-ray Observatory is the largest X-ray telescope in the world. The Event Horizon Radio Telescope allows the worldwide collection of data. The European Space Agency's E-Rosita Space Telescope images the entire sky in the X-ray band. The European Southern Observatory's very large telescope combines four movable optical mirrors into a giant interferometer. The Webb telescope reveals massive galaxies already in existence near the predicted time of the Big Bang. Infrared images of early galaxies that are too big to exist, when only embryonic stars are expected by the standard model. Mature, high redshift galaxies are discovered a few million years after the alleged Big Bang. Early galaxies are unexpectedly bright when they should not even be in existence. A massive 13 billion year old bright red galaxy that has four times the stars as the Milky Way. This giant galaxy was born just 800 million years after the Big Bang before there was time for the dark matter halos required by the standard model to form. A close-up of ZT UDS 7329 reveals her massive size as each kiloparsec equals 3,260 light years of distance across her filaments. Early galaxies are observed to already be gathered into clusters. Early clusters are found wherever we look in the infrared spectrum. Infrared image of two galaxies already merging 500 million years after the Big Bang. The Webb Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Telescope combined to show black holes were formed earlier than expected. Numerous early black holes have been imaged in the infrared by the Webb Telescope. The Webb Telescope's little red dots are claimed to be the very early small but extremely massive black holes of quasars. To explain the discovery of numerous massive black holes shortly after the Big Bang, it's now being proposed that they resulted from a gravitational epicycle that combined many tiny black holes. X-ray observations reveal massive galaxy clusters that would take much longer than the age of the Big Bang universe to gravitationally form. The Big Ring, with a diameter of 1.3 billion light years. Mapping the synchrotron at radiation reveals the magnetic fields of the distant, massive El Gordo cluster with hundreds of galaxies. The giant arc spans 3.3 billion light years and falsifies 
the cosmological principle that the universe is smooth at large scales. The Erosita All-Sky Survey of Cosmic X-ray Sources reveals more than 12,000 galaxy clusters. The web infrared imaging of 19 nearby galaxies reveal electrical plasmoids generating stars along filaments instead of black holes consuming stars from the center. Much like the old fable, the Big Bang Naked Emperor may finally be exposed by the reality of improved observations. The infinite static universe results from electromagnetic processes in a plasma instead of being formed by gravity, held together by dark matter and expanded by dark energy. Engulfed within an eternal, electrically neutral and conducting black ionized gas plasma, accounted for by electromagnetic crystal matrices of molecular hydrogen atoms, naked protons and free electrons, the infinite universe of light is alive with vascular filaments connecting the living quantum bodies born into the plasma. Physical matter is not created by gravity. The observable gravity exhi exhibited between mass objects may simply be a measurable manifestation of their quantum relativity. The imaginary space-time of standard model relativity is replaced by the reality of the existence and movement of quantum mass and its light through and its electromagnetic interaction with the surrounding plasma. Manifested gravitationally, there is a quantum electromagnetic relationship between moons, planets, stars, mother galaxies, and their family clusters. Quantumly, it is what it is. Stars, galaxies, and their family clusters are connected by massive filaments of electricity from which they are born in the molecular dust of the plasma. Birth results from a random Z-pinch along a filament of electromagnetic current producing a brilliant and powerful arc of energy. In the infinite universe, there is no arrow of time. And in the absence of observation, every particle of physical mass simultaneously moves timelessly relative to all other mass to which it is quantumly bound. Unless observed, the currents of photonic light waves are continuous and they timelessly connect the source and the destination. When observed, the speed of light in the plasma appears to be constant. Cosmic voids of dark plasma exist between majestic Birkeland currents of electricity and the galaxies and clusters they connect. The timeless and infinite universe of light gives birth to physical mass that lives and dies in a quantum relationship with other mass. The physical mass of the universe includes sentient beings of organic life who have evolved observant, tolerant, and quantum minds, which become increasingly aware of self and surroundings. Galaxies and their clusters are connected by massive electromagnetic filaments in the plasma. When imaged by X-ray and radio telescopes, the universe of light is seen to be filled with a web of filaments connecting all observable matter. Electrical filaments surrounding a galaxy. Unseen in the visible light spectrum, filaments are massive currents of electricity in the dark plasma encircled by magnetic fields. 
Stars, quasars, and galaxies are created in the molecular dust of the plasma by magnetic Z-pinches in filaments, causing electrical arcs and massive discharges of energy, superheating the local plasma. When a Z-pinch arcs along one of a mother galaxy's electromagnetic filaments within her plasma dust, the instantaneous release of massive energy causes the molecular gas cloud to contract and ionize. A new star is born out of the compressed plasma dust, and she commences the fusion of hydrogen at her core. The daughter star begins to spin to produce her own magnetic field in the plasma and to generate the stellar energy required to nourish her daughter planets and their families of organic life. Once a new star or galaxy is electromagnetically born, her electrical attraction begins to concentrate and illuminate her own molecular dust cloud of plasma around her. In a universe alive with mother galaxies, some are being born and some are dying. Imaged are old galaxies that no longer make stars. The oldest viewed thus far by Webb is almost 13 billion years old. Filaments of the Virgo supercluster that contains 150 large galaxies, including the Milky Way, and more than 1,000 dwarf galaxies. E. Rosita telescope images of the longest discovered filament and its surrounding gas spanning 50 million light years across the sky as it connects three galaxy clusters. The Phantom Galaxy, imaged in the infrared by the Webb telescope, reveals the fractal geometry of her electrical filaments and stars. The electromagnetic birth of a new star in the molecular dust of the plasma. Strings of stars being born along a filament in the plasma and illuminating the surrounding gas. The DOE's dark energy camera captured the burst of new stars in the Bernese 149 nebula. A series of stars being created along filaments in the Orion molecular cloud. New stars birthing baby planets. Gravity, as the manifestation of a star's formation, produces fusion at its core from which heat slowly flows to the surface. While the temperature of the sun's surface is 10,340 degrees Fahrenheit, its atmosphere is 300 times hotter due to the electricity generated by the sun's rotation in the plasma. The sun's electromagnetic processes are clearly visible in the image where one second of sunlight equals 24 hours of observation. The sun's magnetic field extends beyond the planets that form her heliosphere. The electromagnetic relationship of the sun and her earthly child The sun's radiation of electromagnetic energy is revealed by the auroras produced by the Earth's magnetic field at its poles. Radio telescopes detect electromagnetic radiation being emitted from galactic cores. Gamma ray jets extend 27,000 light years above and below 
the 105,700 light years diameter of the Milky Way's filaments. Meerkat radio images of the Milky Way Center reveal discharge of 1,000 150 light years long magnetic filaments. Radio image of Sagittarius A star at the core of the Milky Way reveals a plasmoid with spiraling magnetic fields, not a black hole. Instead of black holes that consume stars, the centers of galaxies and quasars are massive plasmoids that create stars. Plasmoids are coherent structures of plasma and magnetic fields. The laboratory creation of a plasmoid Exploring a universe created by electromagnetism rather than gravity, many mysteries remain to be solved. Hans Alvin, 1970 Nobel laureate in physics for his theory of an electromagnetic plasma universe, has now been vindicated. The cosmic quantum consciousness of the infinite quantum universe. An MRI of the human brain. There are approximately 100 billion neurons in a mature human brain. Neurons are composed of dendrites, cell bodies, and axons. Neurons are connected by synapses to about 7,000 other neurons. Their axons release chemical neurotransmitters across the synapses to convey signals to the dendrites of adjacent neurons and in communicating information through the nervous system mapping the connectome landscape of the brain. Voltage passes through the outer cortical cells as they fire calcium and sodium ions. With 100 trillion synaptic connections in the brain, each of which is either on or off, the synapses were once believed to encode consciousness and memories. Neurons contain microtubules. There are innumerable microtubules contained within human brain cells. Each microtubule is composed of 13 spiraling strands. The complex microtubule strands may encode all memories and consciousness rather than the synapses. Microtubules generate electromagnetic fields. Microtubules have light signaling pathways. The double hemisphere, electromagnetic brain, generates the aura of a quantum mind. Electromagnetic processes within microtubules may produce quantum effects that entangle with the microtubules of many neurons in a superposition, which generates a non-physical twin mind that extends beyond the brain 
as a self-aware consciousness that debates its observations and conclusions. Just as gravity may be the manifestation of an electromagnetic quantum universe, the generation of a twin mind and its creations may be the natural manifestation of an electromagnetic quantum brain. A quantum twin mind may expand to the extent it can perceive reality, out to the limits of its observational abilities within an infinite universe of light. Once generated, a quantum twin mind may survive death and may continue to exist as long as it is remembered. After a unique twin mind is quantumly generated, it may entangle with all other self-aware minds who have ever been born throughout eternity, collectively bonding together within an infinitely wise and unconditionally loving cosmic consciousness. An infinity of living mother galaxies in a limitless universe gives birth to an infinity of organic lives and the minds they conceive. Our sun, among her 100 billion sisters in the Milky Way galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy is but one of an infinite number of mother galaxies living in a limitless universe of light within an eternal dark plasma. An infinity of mother galaxies gives birth to an infinity of warm yellow stars in the unbounded physical universe. An infinity of stars gives birth to an infinity of rare earth and water planets with a large moon, giving tides and rain to irrigate, irrigate the fertile gardens, and to light for the night. Infinite planetary gardens grow an infinity of organic intelligent life with a flowering of minds. A metamorphosis of minds generates powers of observation and the awareness of self and surroundings, which instinctively encourage and exploration of the beckoning universe of light. While humanity heals our instinctive brainstem intolerance, we will be patiently and lovingly observed without judgment or interference by the universal cosmic consciousness. until we achieve the tolerance of all others and we cease making war. Our children will never collectively learn how to timelessly fly beyond their earthly nest and to explore the wonderful universe that awaits them. Irrespective of race, creed, or culture, we are all Mind kind on earth. I regard consciousness as fundamental. I regard matter as derivative from consciousness. We cannot get behind consciousness. Everything that we talk about, everything that we regard as existing, postulates consciousness. Max Planck. With appreciation, this presentation borrowed brief clips from the following YouTube videos, which should be directly viewed for more information.
with respect. This presentation used clips from the following public videos. This non-commercial presentation includes dozens of images found on the internet and used with great appreciation, but without proper attribution due to the impossibility of identifying and contacting owners of the original sources. If the owner of any such image objects to its use, please email the author with details and the image will be removed. The author especially thanks Eric J. Lerner in his book, The Big Bang Never Happened, for introducing evidence disproving the standard model of cosmology, and Professor Louis Marmet for his invitation to join a cosmology group where dissident scientists have the freedom to disagree with settled science and to publish alternative theories refused by mainstream authorities. Dedicated to Christian Berkelin, Edwin Hubble, and Hans Alvin, who discovered the electromagnetic plasma universe and whose work has been mischaracterized and misused by the gravitationalists, who defend the false Big Bang cosmology by ignoring and disparaging all challenges. Music by Scott Buckley and Johannes Brahms. to be presented by William John Cox at the Science of Consciousness Conference, Tucson, Arizona, April the 22nd through the 27th, 2024. Greatly appreciated. Abi Montefiore and Stuart Hammeroff at the Center for Consciousness Studies at the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona for making this presentation possible. Please subscribe to my channel, give us a like, post a comment, and share with others.